I told you not to sign up for GatorWayAndBlue.com! Hey, that's not my fault! The ad was relevant to me, okay? Hey, why, why, can't, why can't we just get off the track? I don't know, you wrote this! Uh, uh, hey! How do you escape a train? Oh, good idea. Here's the top result. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright, fine, whatever it takes! What? Garrett! Freaking Garrett! Man, the Virtual Boy sounds like a really great idea right now. The Virtual Boy was always a great idea. Dude, stop. It was never a great idea. It's been nearly 22 years and you're still defending that horse crap. <sighs> what did you do this time? I gotta look for the answer. What? Just Thomas the Tank Engine. Siri can explain the rest. I'd rather not. Because you have everything I've been searching for. No, my name is Siri and you got that pickup line from Google. Playing hard to connect, aren't ya? Get it? Connect? Light blue. I got the joke. Listen, I got those nice big quarter inch plugs. Sorry, mine can only fit 3.5 millimeters. Would you two shut up? Yeah, so apparently there's a Thomas the Tank Engine game for the SNES. Despite owning an SNES, I'm too lazy and impatient to buy the game online and wait for it to ship in. Therefore, I'm playing on an emulator. Haha, <laughs> kill me. As a very young kid, I absolutely adore Thomas the Tank Engine and trains in general, and honestly, I still do. I just don't like being chased by them. I have vague memories of playing an old Kitty Thomas game for the PC, but that's about it. Up until just now, I had absolutely no clue that there was a Thomas game for the SNES. So let's just go ahead and fake this shot and make it look like we're actually playing on an SNES when we really aren't, okay? Alright, here we go. This song truly is the theme song of my early childhood years. I'm impressed at how well this game managed to emulate the original recording. It obviously doesn't sound nearly as good, but it sure is close enough for this old system. Okay, yeah, hey buddy. See, I don't think this would be disturbing if the shot was literally just him at point B. For the record, you're never supposed to answer this online, kids. Alright, well usually the older the age, the bigger the challenge, so we're gonna be accurate and say I'm eight and older. This is borderline impossible. Okay, so this voice I assume was put into the game for little kids who can't read. But then my question is why it doesn't appear in the puzzles where little kids are gonna need to hear the directions. So these are basically all just kitty puzz- <laughs> Just kidding, we can race birdie. Alright, Thomas, Michael Jackson was a really influential human being, but don't take it that far. What the heck did they do to your face, man? You don't even look like you're looking ahead of you. You're looking straight down on the tracks. Is there a bug there? Is there like a... a, a hu are, are you getting revenge on someone? Oh, so this is where Mario Party got half of its minigame ideas. Honestly, don't even feel like this would be fun for me if I was three and clueless. And within literally 10 seconds, this race is over. I really have nothing to analyze here. What you see is what you get. The only difference between playing or watching is if you're pressing a button really fast or not. Believe it or not, there is actually some challenge in this game. Fixing the tracks requires you create the track from scratch. You have to connect the track to specific landmarks and make sure that Thomas visits them in the right order. I had to actually think a little bit when doing this one. So at least there's something in here that makes it feel worthwhile. Oh good, we can race Percy too. Yeah, this one looks real promising. So it turns out it's just a bunch of stories read for you since apparently your mother was too lazy to read you at bedtime. Hey Mac, why don't you read some of the story to us? I wanna die. Thomas was waiting at the junction when the bus arrived. Hello, said Thomas. Who are you? Who is Birdie? Wait, hang on. Did the story just reveal it's Birdie by asking? Never mind. I'm Birdie. I've come to help you with your passengers today. Yeah, we know who you are. The story just spoiled the story for us. Help me, said Thomas. I could go faster than you. I'll race you, said Birdie. <laughs> At first, Birdie drew in front. Why don't you go fast? Why don't you go fast? Call Danny and Clarabelle. Wait and see. Wait and see. Here's Thomas. Who is winning now? <laughs> That's as far as I'm going. That's as far as I'm going with this game as well. Beyond this, the only other thing is a minigame quizzing you on rather easy things. What? No, I swear that's a tower. Well, I think I clearly learned a lot about life and running away from trains with my cousin's face slapped on top of it. Okay, Siri, 
Take me back to the tracks. You're going to die. Thanks for the positivity. Okay, I figured out. Who are right, you? I, I figured out who escaped trains. Okay. Okay. We run the opposite direction, right toward it. Opposite. All right. Yeah. Okay. No! I think we started a runaway train. Oh, oh, I'm I'm not going to court over this, man. No, we gotta go get that train. I mean, I we gotta go get that train, man. All right. If you want to see what happens next, then check out Josiah's video right here. And uh, if it's not available yet, then check out his channel because it's gonna be worth your time. Trust me. And thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, you should check out my other RTTTAs. Huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters. Yep, here they are, all right here. Yep, there's some great people. They're very nice. If you'd like some cool perks like seeing the behind the scenes of this video, which will be going up soon, or seeing your name in this video or other awesome cool little things, then you should support me on Patreon. Yeah. Also remember to follow me on Twitter because that's where you'll see me rant and say a whole bunch of random crap and also useful things. Sometimes, not all, like 10% of the time. Lastly, I want to give special thanks to Chase Weimer, Tracy Owens, and Anna Owens for helping make this video possible. So once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.